And we have live team coverage beginning with meteorologist Olga Ospina. She's been tracking the warnings and the watches in her next weather forecast. Olga. Yes, uh, temperatures in the 90s and 100s uh, today. So definitely dangerously hot temperatures uh, for places like Lancaster in the upper 90s. Uh, this is at the 5 o'clock hour. So numbers were even warmer earlier this afternoon. Along the coastline, very different story. 67 in Santa Monica, upper 60s in Long Beach. As we head into Orange County, feeling upper 60s in Santa Ana and 70s uh, for for much of the area, but Inland Empire, you are another one of those really hot locations. 94 in Paris, 93 for San Bernardino, and of course, that triple digit heat still in the low desert for places like Palm Springs. Want to show you what is happening. We have this dome of heat that's really going to be impacting much of the West and bringing us those temperatures into the 100s at least through the end of the work week. High desert, you'll be right around 104, 106 for daytime highs, 90s for the Inland Empire as we head towards the basins, upper 70s and 80s, the valleys in the 80s and 90s, and of course, mild along the coast in the 60s and 70s. We'll talk about watches and warnings in place coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you guys. All right, see you then, Olga. Well, it has been a mixed bag of weather today. As you can see, it's bright and sunny in Hollywood and downtown LA, but the hottest place in our area today, the Antelope Valley, where it hit triple digits. And KKL News reporter Jeff Nguyen is live in Palmdale, where people are coping with this blazing heat, Jeff. So, Pat and Chauncey, when the weather shifts this dramatically, that can lead to dire consequences. And doctors say that is especially true for people who work outdoors, like at a construction site. Hector Delgado wears protective gear to shield himself from the punishing sun. On hot days, he and his road repair team work in plenty of breaks. The heat, they know I uh, can go work, work, work. So I had to slow down and take a break, as many breaks as we need to. People that are doing physical labor outside, if they are not cooling themselves well, they end up in the ER. UCLA ER doctor Haik Antabian says heat can kill, so it's important for people who are active on hot days to cool off, find shade, and have plenty of water handy. The way that we cool as humans is through evaporation of our sweat. And if you don't drink enough, you're not going to sweat enough. And so you could overheat a lot more quickly. At this park in Palmdale, we found this family going for a walk with their baby, carrying plenty of water. Marty Garcia says he doesn't wait until he's thirsty to hydrate. In fact, that's exactly what doctors advise. Definitely lots of water um, prior last night as well. You know, it's always a big thing. Margo Cotel wrapped up her workout with a water break. She says just as important, having a hat. I'm also a, a preschool teacher and I'm outside a lot, so I have to protect my face and you can actually get skin cancer on your scalp. Across the Antelope Valley, there were construction crews doing backbreaking work under the sun. While Hector Delgado says it's important for him and his team to protect themselves from overheating. The same thing as driving a car. In no water, it is going to overheat it. You got to protect yourself before anything happens. Doctors remind us to keep an eye on the elderly and infants because they have less tolerance for heat. And if you are going to work out on a hot day, make sure you don't push it because you may end up with heat exhaustion or much worse. We are live in Palmdale. Jack Nguyen, KCAL News.